Hey YouTubers, welcome to my channel. My name is Sierra and uh, yeah, I made this video just so you guys will know what my channel is about and just about me in general. I did make a list so if you see me looking down, that is why because I will get sidetracked and talk about a bunch of random stuff. So we'll try to keep this video short and sweet, but I will start off about me. Um, I am 24 years old. I was born in Ohio, then eventually moved to Arizona and I was raised there. Um, I'm currently living in California, right in between San Francisco and Sacramento, so it's an amazing place. And I'm truly blessed and just so happy to be living here. Um, the weather is pretty nice. I grew up in like a small family. I have a mother, a father, and a sister. And I had two cats, but recently they were put down. They were old, but yeah, I really miss them. I had them for almost 18 years. <laughs> That's a really long time in cat years. So there wasn't really anything too crazy uh, about my life. I was always very active. I always um, played in sports. In elementary school, I was in orchestra, I did cheerleading, I did taekwondo, got my first degree black belt in that, and I also did track and field. When I went into junior high, I finished up taekwondo and I did a little bit of volleyball, I did track, cross country, and soccer, and I absolutely loved track. Um, cross country not so much because I'm not a long distance runner. I am very slow. I still am. I don't really know how to improve that. I'm just naturally a sprinter, I guess. Um, yeah, and then in high school, I was still in orchestra. In junior high, I was in orchestra too. All the way up to my senior year. Did I love it? I don't know. It like passed the time and it made me like strive to be a better player. But um, I did badminton for a year, I did volleyball for another year, and I did hip hop club. So that was very interesting. I did that for two years and I had an amazing time. It was definitely fun. Met some new faces. I'm still friends with some of the people on the dance team. Then in college, I wasn't in any sports. Um, so. I went to school for applied science because I wanted to be a veterinary technician. Plans changed and I went a totally different career field, but I noticed I was gaining weight. All throughout um, junior high and high school, I didn't necessarily eat the best. And it's not like I was eating crappy at home. I just like had snacks and bread and stuff a lot. Like I just naturally had a really big appetite. Um, I don't know where I got it from because like no one else in my family really eats like that, but um, yeah, I went out to eat as soon as I got my license. Like the first place I went was McDonald's, <laughs> and um, became a habit pretty much every day. I went there or Burger King or In and Out, and they knew my order by heart. It was pretty sad, but that's how often I was going. Um, so like even in junior high and high school when I'd order food for like for lunch, I would get pizza and fries or I would get burgers and fries. Like it was like that every single day as far as long as I could remember. And then when I was about to go home, I would pick up some McDonald's or some fast food place and then eat dinner at home as well, whatever my mom made. The reason I really started going out is because I'm a really picky person. My mom liked to try new recipes and most of the time I didn't like it. And it was just me. Like other people in the family like the stuff. I'm just really picky for some reason. So I started eating out a lot. And then in college definitely caught up to me when I wasn't active anymore. I started gaining weight. I gained like 20 pounds. And I knew I needed to make a change because I knew I did not want to be like super overweight. So I got a gym membership. I didn't work out consistently. Um, I went there like a couple days a week and I, my focus back then obviously was to lose weight but 
once I started enjoying working out at the gym, I never did cardio. I was never a fan of cardio, so I was not a cardio bunny. But I did work on my legs a lot. And people made fun of me because they're like, wow, you're working out legs again. And I was like, yeah, I love working out legs. Like, I would literally work out legs like three or four days out of the week. <laughs> and um, it definitely paid off because my legs are huge. And people comment on them all the time when I go to the gym. Like, what do you do? But yeah, so I just had a love for the gym. I've been in the gym since 2011. And it's 2017 now. So I've definitely been working out for a while. Not necessarily a pro because I still have a lot of learning to do. But um, yeah, I, I absolutely love fitness. And that's why I'm so like passionate about it now. And... The health part of it is still, um, still needs some work, but it's definitely a lot better than it was before. I'm not going out to eat as much as I was. I did, you know, like wound up having like an eating disorder, um, uh, just like binge eating and stuff like that, or an emotional eating. Emotional eating, I'm, I'm getting very close to overcoming, I believe. Um, I've had some days this year where I was a hot mess and usually, if I'm having really down days, I just go out, get a burger, a shake, fries, whatever, just a bunch of stuff. But lately, I've been doing pretty good with that, so thumbs up for that. And thumbs up to you guys if you overcame your eating disorder, because I know that is very, very tough. But it is all up in here. I've jumped around from job to job. I started off in retail. I was a cashier. I also was a party server and um, I busted tables. Most of the time I just did cashiering though with most of the jobs that I had. Uh, eventually when I went to vet school, I um, took on a job as a veterinary assistant, then became a veterinary technician. So that was fun, then it wound up being really stressful. So um, I was really frustrated where I was and just how things were going and how I just didn't feel appreciated. So I wound up joining the Air Force, which is why I'm in uniform right now. I came back from work like an hour ago, cleaned up a bit and all that stuff. But um, yes, yeah, so I've been in the Air Force for a year and two months now. And uh, it's definitely a different experience. But I met my boyfriend here. I've been dating him for about six months. And he's also in the Air Force. He works in the hospital. I work in the dining facility. But eventually I'm going to cross over to the fitness aspects. That would be really amazing because obviously I'm really more into that than like cooking and stuff. What a, my channel is going to be about is fitness, of course. And food is a really big aspect of my life too because I'm a girl that loves to eat. I would not go somewhere and order a salad that is like very unlike me, but um, I love to go out, try new things. Even though I am picky, I still have an open mind and still want to try different things. Um, I also just want to be real with you guys. I just keep everything 100%. I will show you guys my good and my bad days. If you don't um, believe me, you can just check out my Instagram. It's Sierra S. White. And you'll definitely see me have my good and my bad days, and yeah, so. Um, the other things I'm gonna be posting on here is just motivation and just positivity in general because there's just too much negativity in the world and like, I don't need that in my life. I just wanna just keep going up and just have my thoughts be uplifted and everything too, and I just, want to promote you know positivity to other people's lives because we all need it we all have those days you know if someone would have said something to you that day it would have made it so much better holding the door open for people paying for someone's meal whatever it is i absolutely love and enjoy doing that i love helping out the homeless i love volunteering i do that in my free time on my days off i volunteer at the elementary school and just like watch after the kids and make sure they go across the crosswalk safely and all that stuff. I just love to like watch kids and just be around them. Do I ever want kids? I don't know, it's been up in the air, but I'm definitely gonna be homing some cats because 
I'm a crazy cat lady, and luckily my boyfriend loves cats too, so I'll probably have a couple of those. But yeah, that's pretty much gonna be it. Um, if you guys have any questions, go ahead and comment them down below. If you guys wanna stick around, just stay tuned for my next videos. I am gonna be posting on Tuesdays and Saturdays. I know those are kinda random days, but those are days I know that I can stick to. Um, currently, as you've probably seen with my past videos, there's not really a set schedule, but that is going to be changing. Like I said, it's going to be on Tuesdays and Wednesdays, so you can look forward to that. And I just want to thank you guys for clicking on this video and just checking out my channel. And if you guys want to see more, then just hit the little notification uh, bell at the top so you can get notified next time I post a video. And I hope to see you guys soon.